Starting in September of 2014, Nashville High School South shortened their classes and added an extra one, otherwise known as eBlock. But this block doesn't focus on any subject in particular. Let's see how some of the students feel about eBlock. To me, eBlock is just a time where you can schedule appointments with teachers so you can get some extra work done and it's like an extra help time, but you don't have to stay after if you have something after school. People just schedule you to go to their class to to do extra work and catch up and stuff. If I need a break from school, it's like another break other than lunch. On Monday, students check into their scheduled e-block room. During the rest of the week, they can use that block to go to any other class or club. I think e-block did help me transition because I just moved here, and it's getting me to like meet new people and interact more in the school. There hasn't been really any obstacles in school that I've that eBlock has helped me with. Although our interviewees have given us some helpful information about eBlock, they aren't the only ones with opinions. So basically, eBlock is the most unorganized and confusing thing that this has ever happened to the school. I don't think there is a single teacher in the school who can confidently say they know how eBlock works. Um, I've had nothing but complications with eBlock thus far, and that's because it's new, but still I think that they kind of need to figure it out. <laughs> As a senior, I think if there was eBlock when I was a freshman, it would have been beneficial if it was done correctly, not like it's being done now. Right now, it's still very, like, not figured out, and they're still trying to figure things out, so I don't think it's necessarily beneficial. But I think if it was done correctly, it would have been beneficial if I had it all four years of high school. I think positives of eBlock are that you don't have to stay after school to get extra help, because I know a lot of people have, like, busy schedules and stuff, like myself. But at the same time, I think a negative of eBlock is that you can't get scheduled out every day of the week. You can only get scheduled out four days, which sometimes on busy weeks is hard. It's like, oh, I need to go to four different classes, but I need the fifth day to do this, and like you can't use that. The Nashua School District has been working on making eBlock happen for the high schools for about a year now. Although it hasn't been perfected, it seems to be helping students out. But as we know, practice makes perfect, and soon eBlock could live up to its potential of being a helpful and organized resource for students. Angelia Andrews from NTC News.